Würzburg is a charming place. It radiates even more vibrantly in the winter. Some parts of it remind you of Prague, the city of gold, like the old bridge over the Main River. An easy walk across it finds you in the heart of this city and its many traditions. The attraction running up to Christmas is, of course, the Christmas market. In the evening, residents and tourists mingle here. Sometimes they meet again in an authentic Franconian restaurant one of Würzburg's most famous is the Backöffele. It has the charm of an old farmer's abode, and this is where you get a living illustration of the meaning of that German word, Gemütlichkeit. The kitchen staff are working frantically to do their part, too. Food is served from early evening until midnight, giving chef Herbert Gier and his team enough time to prepare and serve around 500 meals. There's absolutely no compromise on quality at the back of Ufela. They serve tastily prepared regional dishes. We've been cooking this traditional Franconian food here for 10 years. It has a long tradition. We prepare everything fresh every day. And if possible, we only use local ingredients. Typical treats, such as bratwurst and wild boar, southern German spätzle, red cabbage and dumplings, and which holiday feast is complete without duck and goose? With the holidays comes special seasoning as well. During the Christmas season, we cook with special spices such as Lebkuchen, anise, cinnamon and coriander. A glass of Franconian wine is the perfect companion to that great food. Würzburg has its share of the good stuff, out near the Marienberg fortress, or here at the so-called Würzburger Stein. German literature great Wolfgang Goethe is said to have had wine sent to him from here. Franconian wine can be a little rough at the edge, but it has a lot to offer and is fun to drink, whether a little glass at the small table in the corner or as the perfect complement to a big, fine meal. The back Öffler has the most comprehensive wine menu in the city, including some rare and tasty vintages. Holiday season guests like the goose and duck, but they appreciate venison as well. The house specialty is braised venison shoulder and fried venison filet with chopped Savoy cabbage and poppy seed dumplings. And this is how it's done. Fry the shoulder strips with celery, carrots and leeks in oil. Drench with red wine and brown gravy stock. Allow to braise in the oven for 80 minutes. Wrap the venison filet in bacon and fry it. Now chop the Savoy cabbage into strips and blanch it in boiling water. For the dumpling dough, you'll need boiled potatoes, flour, poppy seeds and eggs. Roll the dough in your hands until it has a sausage shape. Sprinkle flour on the dumplings and then lightly fry them in a pan. Now everything is ready. A true culinary delight for the holidays, and it's a pleasure for the eyes, as well as the tummy.